Good afternoon, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. A lot of times we'll uh, acquire lead for bullet casting or have our own leads and we forget what we've done. In my case, I have a bunch of uh, ingots that are labeled just number two. I assume that's Lyman two, and it turned out it was. But if you don't have a Bernelli uh, lead tester, you can use uh, mechanical pencils that have different hardnesses. And I'll, I'll put a link on my website, and you'll see it in, in the video here, too, to the, uh, to the graphic. Um, but basically, I went down and spent about 15 bucks, you see here, and picked up a set of mechanical pencils. I chose this particular brand because that appears to be the high-quality brand. Um, so you can do whatever you want. But let's, uh, let's get into how to test the lead. Uh, basically, you take a pencil and you make a 90-degree edge in the, uh, the uh, lead there. And then uh, we go ahead and look at all this. And I've got, the, like I said, I got the puck here. And I've got different cast bullets that I've cast in the past. But I kind of forgot what hardens they were. Because I'm going to be doing some powder coating. And I want to see how hard I can push these. So I actually need to know the hardness. I know these work and I know they don't lead. I believe these are quenched number two linemen. Uh, but when I, when I go ahead and I take and file this down, we're going to lose the quenching of it, the hardness of the quenching. Now, if you look at the pencils here, the Stedler ones, if you look, um, when I turn it here a minute, there we go. You'll see that there are different different numbers on this end, and these all correspond to a scale of hardness. And these are uh, mechanical drafting pencils, I believe, and they come in a little case. And um, if you look at the case here, it's it's nice. They're all in there. They're all sequential. And what you can do is you can tape this graphic to the other side of it. Now, I did a lot of research on the internet, so these aren't all my ideas. Uh, this is just where they've been compiled uh, into video, because I haven't really seen anybody do it, but I've seen it on the casting forums where some guys do this. So you can look at the different hardnesses of LEDs. Um, for example, uh, if you go down the list here, you can look at hardnesses, but uh, a number two pencil has a Bernelli hardness number between 16 and 18. A lot of guys go out when they buy lead, they can use a pencil, a regular number two pencil to check it. So that's kind of where I got the idea for this video. Um, I think it's a great idea. Now I've, I've tested my lead before with the, the, the bearing and the, uh, put it on the, um, on the weight and scale. But if you look here on a 3B, which is Vanilla 10, after I uh, sanded a flat spot, it kind of went over the lead a little bit, it didn't really dig in, so it's probably harder than that. So I made another flat spot, and we took this one here. I'll have to look in the video and see what it is, but this kind of didn't really work that well. I mean, it did, but, yeah, and like I said, this is all estimates, it's all based on your angle of the pencil and everything, so a lot of people are going to get different results, but it will put you in the ballpark. So there's a steel shot of it, or a shot of it afterwards, the, the gallery, you can see it. Now we're going to use the BH-15, or the, the HB pencil with the BHN, uh, 14 to 50 Bernelli. Or Bernelli hardness. And you'll see that this, uh, this cuts in well. See the little uh, shaving there and how it kind of broke the lead a little bit? But you do see the gouge there, so we know it's about that, in that range of hardness. Now, here's a cast bullet, but we're removing the water quenching. So generally, it'll be about one, one uh, Bernelli number above. So it's the same pencil. And kind of gouged it pretty good. Let's do some more tests here. There we go. But this, this bullet is really a little bit harder. Like I said, it's, very, it's the same, it's the same, um, the same, uh, lead on these as the next bullet we'll get to like right here this is from a 38 uh, wide cutter now on this one you see it really digging very well and I'll, I'll slow down the video here so it so it shows up pretty good you see how that is digging in there and see the lead curling off the end so that one was done at the right angle. Now, like I said, I just sharpened the knife. Now, I have used a file to do it before, but this works fine. And you, there's a, the kit. Uh, you just put this paper here. You can go to my website, uh, Prepper's Voice, and get it. 
Um, I'll have a, a JPEG there you can download on the file section. Or you can just print this out, I guess. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever where works for you. And that's that's the compiled list from different people's um, experiences. So there you go. Thumbs up. Please rate, subscribe, and have a great day, everybody. North Camp Prepper out. Have a good one, everybody.